What's up everyone? It's Spaghetti Hands here. Alright, in this one we're going to go through real quick how I start every single build on Betaflight 4.2. So, here's a brand new build. I just did it. It's my LED quad. Uh, it's on 357 right now. We're going to go through and we're just going to do a quick setup. I'm not going to be plugging in the ba battery, so I'm going to be leaving my props on. Uh, but if you're going to be doing this, definitely take the props off because you're going to have to be spooling up your motors to be testing things. I've already done this on an exact same build like this, so I already know that it's going to work. There we go. Okay, COM port 4. Connect to it, and there you go. You see? Betaflight 357. So, uh, normally what you would do is you would hold the, down the bootloader button and plug in the USB, uh, but I know that this board can actually just uh, go to the bootloader through a command. So, I'm going to do that because it's really convenient. And look at that. You're in DFU mode. Alright, once you have your drone in bootloader mode, you're going to come over here. You're going to select your uh, correct board from the drop-down menu here. And you're going to select 4.2. We're going to go full chip erase, load the firmware, flash the firmware, and it's erasing the old beta flight right now, and we're putting on the new beta flight 4.2 goodness. Alright, so you see that program successful. So, we're going to connect to it, and hey, it's going to give us a notice. Would you like to apply custom defaults? Always apply custom defaults. You're going to disconnect again. You're going to reconnect. Connect back to it. It's going to say, oh, warning. There's no output motor protocol selected, and your accelerometer is enabled but not calibrated. All right, well, it's on a flat surface right now. We're going to calibrate the accelerometer. In the ports tab here, you're going to set up your serial RX and your smart audio. I already know which UARTs I set this up to because I built this drone. After that, you're going to save and reboot. And you go over to the configuration table over here. And you select either DSHOT 300 or DSHOT 600. I'm going to go with DSHOT 600 since I know it's going to work already. And DSHOT 600, you're going to go AK 8K. You're going to set your arming to 180. Because, God forbid, you get stuck in a tree. You're going to select... Uh, I'm going to select IBUS right here. We're going to select whatever you want. I have LED strips, so I'm going to turn that on as well. I always set my RX loss beacon so that I can beep. Oh, by the way, I forgot the most important thing. Turn this bi-directional D-shot thing on. It does all the goodness. The way to tell if this works or not, go into your motor tab and spool up your motors with no props on and give it 100% and you should get no errors. That's it. Save and reboot. On to the next one. And then here's what you came for. Go over to PID tuning, go over to filter setting, slide this all the way over to 1.5. What you're going to do is you're going to turn this gyro RPM filter to 125 and you're going to leave it on 3. If you want, you can change it to 2, but I would recommend just leaving it on 3. Then here on the dynamic notch filter, what you're going to do is you're going to take that 8, put it to a 0, select 250 here, select 125, and then 325. Simple just like that. Save that. I leave it on 1.5 because most builds can handle 1.5. Uh, if you want, you can push it all the way up to 2.0, test your quad, see what it can handle. Go over to the PID profile selection. Now, normally what you would do is you're going to take this and you're going to put your sick response all the way down. You must disable the min. And you're going to slide this PD balance all the way to the left until you get bounce back. And then you're going to put it to the right one. Then you're going to take this one and you're going to slide it right until you get high sounding oscillation in your prop spool up on like high throttles. Then you're gonna bring that down by one. Then you're gonna bring your stick response back until you like it. And then you're gonna fly that. And if you notice any prop wash or anything that need you ch need to change, just bump this master multiplier up by one. Now, I actually tuned this exact quad so I know what it's gonna end up at. And I'm gonna show you, it's literally this. Also, don't forget to set your rates. And then, like always, don't forget about your VTX tables. So we set up smart audio on a channel, and because of that, we're going to get this video transmitter tab. And you're going to come into here, go to this page, and download smart audio version 2.1 USA. It's going to save link as, and it's going to be the only JSON file. And then I load from file downloads smart audio 
And there it is. Don't forget to change the number of power levels according to your VTX. And these are decibel. This is whatever you want it to be. How to check if your VTX is a certain which smart audio version your VTX is running. You could just go over here to black box, select uh, smart audio in this drop down box here, save and reboot. And then go to um, enable export mode, sensors, and hit debug. Plug in the battery and it'll tell you. So you'll get 216 or 215 or something like that for 2.1 2 for 2.1. You'll get 200 for version 2 and you'll get something like 100 or 150 like that for version 1. And that's how you know. Oh, and like normal, set up your modes, your angles, your whatever, your OSD, and don't forget those LEDs. As always, when you're arming for the very first time, always be ready for a drone flyaway or a spool up or something like that. Be ready to disarm right away. Be in a nice open space. Safety first, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you like the video. Bye. Thank you.